still current air temperature is at 79. We have a dew point of 75, a little bit of cloud cover out there. We'll see fast moving clouds throughout the day today, an indication that our storm system is lifting to the northwest, approaching the state of Florida, probably close to Palm Beach by late tonight. One computer model shows it coming on shore near Palm Beach. I think that's certainly a, a possibility as many locations are difficult to pinpoint an exact location that it might come ashore along the state of Florida because if, if you think about the the line between the eye of the storm and the state of Florida as a ruler, if you just move the bottom just a little bit, why the eventual location at the end of the road is going to be uh, varying wildly. So it's difficult to exactly pinpoint it because it is paralleling the coast. Nevertheless, the storm system moving near Andros, near Bahamas right now, south of the Grand Bahama Island, headed toward the state of Florida, producing just some really major damage, I suspect, along the eastern seaboard with some big battering waves up to perhaps 10 to 15 feet and, uh, of course, some wind damage as well with forecast winds at the Kennedy Space Center at about 110 miles per hour tomorrow. You saw those showers coming on shore. Those will gradually be drifting across the coastline. Fast moving storms, total rainfall accumulations. I don't think are going to be that impressive around here. In fact, hopefully, if this storm system behaves and stays close to or off the Atlantic coast, our wind speeds will be manageable. We do have a tropical storm watch up for our coastal communities and for Hardy County, a tropical storm warning. Those may fluctuate. Those may change. If this storm moves a little bit further to the west, we can see those watches turn into warnings very quickly. Um, wind speeds could be higher. If it stays further out in the Atlantic, you know, we won't have quite as much of a problem. Uh, the storm system itself moves t very, very close t to the uh, Space Center and then up toward Jacksonville where it veers back out into the Atlantic. But for us today, we'll have fairly calm conditions. A good morning to make sure your boat is securely tied up. Run those last minute errands if you need to. And uh, tomorrow, if at all possible, just hunker down and, and uh, relax through the winds that should be fairly manageable for most of us. Inland. Might be a little bit different story. The winds might be a little bit stronger. You could see some sporadic power outages in inland areas, some trees down perhaps, if the winds are as strong as they might be. I can pretty much assure you we will not see hurricane force winds in inland areas. Even strong tropical storm force winds are a little less likely. Uh, we could certainly see though some sustained minor low end tropical storm force winds in inland areas, 30, 40 perhaps 50 mile an hour wind gusts in inland areas. Becoming breezy tonight and then we'll watch those showers tomorrow. As far as severe weather goes, well, Severe Storm Prediction Center puts the biggest threat over on the other coast. We don't have much of a threat around here, just standard thunderstorm kind of stuff if we see that. 125 mile an hour winds currently moving to the northwest at 12. Matthew is, has a better, more well-formed eye wall this morning, occurring to, according to Hurricane Hunter aircraft. It seems to, maybe in the last few hours, have taken a little bit of a jog to the west, but you know, it has moved east, west, east, west, east, west, as it kind of inches its weights closer to the coast, so I wouldn't put much faith in one of those momentary little movements. By uh, early Friday morning, it's very close to Palm Beach tonight, tomorrow morning. And then as we head into Friday afternoon and eventually early morning Saturday, it moves up towards Jacksonville and eventually works its way back out into the Atlantic, where we're still going to have to watch it. It's unclear what it will do here. It'll be a much weaker storm, and it will probably never gain much intensity again, but it could head back to the state of Florida. I know there's been some talk about perhaps it merging with Nicole, but... That's a very unlikely scenario and a long way away. Again, total rainfall amounts should not be all that great for us. They'll be much higher over on the other coast, as will wind speeds. So for boaters today, obviously not a great day to, to, to be out in the water. Stay in port. Make sure your boat, boat is well tied up tonight. And this evening, evening even, those wind speeds will be picking up. Tropical storm watches for our area waters and uh, further offshore. Even we have small craft advisories uh, over the next several days. Tomorrow will probably be the will be the windiest. And uh, then on Saturday, still windy in the morning, but subsiding in the afternoon. And it looks like some drier air filtering in will make the weekend pretty nice. Back to you guys.